Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. All right, so in the last episode, we um, got into a royal rumble with some possessed dwarves, and I believe there are still some uh, disembodied body parts that we uh, still need to uh, collect and have Sabeel investigate with her mouth and her tongue in a non-sexual way. I mean, if it does gratify her in a sexual way, who am I to judge? You know what, Sabeel? You go to town with those body parts, girl. You do you. Um, I mean, not in a literal way, but I mean, if you want to, then don't let me stop you. Sabeel, go ahead. Let's have you collect these uh, body parts. And uh, actually, I think it might be a good idea to have Sabeel <clears throat> investigate the body parts as soon as we collect them rather than wait until like... No, million years from now, and then I have to, of course, try to decipher where exactly we got this thing and whatnot. All right, so let's start with the bloody arm. The woods have grown chilly now that the sun has set. Annie shuffles across the picnic blanket and huddles against you for warmth. Oh no, is is Annie okay? You wrap one arm around her, and with the other, conjure a little ball of flame in your palm. Little more than a party trick, but her eyes fill with wonder nonetheless. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? It's so pretty, she says, resting her head against your shoulder. I don't care what they say, what you have is a gift. She inclines her face up towards yours, lips parted slightly. You lean into her, closing your eyes. Ah, the old party trick where you summon a, a fireball and seduce a lady. We've all been there, done that. Fantastic. Good on you, man. Good on you. I mean, you're dead as shit now, but good on you. The ground drifts by hundreds of feet below you. Droplets of your blood fall away from you into space. You don't feel any pain, only a numbing cold. Your senses are fading. All you can hear is the beating of the Void Woken's wings and the beating of your own heart. Only your heart is slowing. Are we inside of the Void Woken? Like, being digested by it? The Void Woken seems to sense that you won't make it. It unleashes an outraged screech, then releases you from its grasp. The grasp of its anal sphincter? Are we being shat out? The ground rushes up to meet you. You close your eyes. Or I guess the simpler explanation was that the uh, Void Woken was, um, I guess, grasping whoever this was in its tendrils or talons or whatever and then flying around or something. I don't know. Fantastic. Well, I'm assuming that wasn't from a bowl of petunias, so um, fair enough. And I've been doing some reading up on the journal and whatnot in between the episodes. And I think we actually might need to make our way over to the Wrecker's Cave over here. Um, and if I recall correctly, I think there's actually some hostile possessed dwarves in this area. So rather than going through the front... I think it might be a good idea for us to try to go in through the back here. And I think it's all linked in right through here. And we are currently situated where? Oh, look. Penny bun mushrooms. Let's not forget these before we move on here. Thank you for brosy. A little bit more? a boy. Okay, so we could go up here and then investigate this barrel, which I can pretty much guarantee you is probably going to be empty. Or... We could save our disappointment and um, get this whisper wood instead. Because you know what they say, right? Um, a herb in a hand is better than two in a bush. Because herbs are notorious for being startled and um, easily frightened. And they fly away if you accidentally trigger them. Or I don't know. I found something. Okay, great. Could it be untold treasure, loot, or, um, or I guess we're trapping Fabrosi inside of a crate. Fair enough. Smart thing to do. Unidentified boots, which is which are most likely going to be crap. Actually, not that bad. Mage boots. Um, sorry, that's uh, Losa. Hmm. Yeah, I think let's give these to. Fane, and then Fane, you can pass these old ones over to Sabeel so that she can sell them later on. And what's in this corpse? A medium wits potion. That'll be for Sabeel. Aha! Okay. Cursed oil. Hot damn, okay, well, 
Let's back up a little bit and then set this thing on fire because I can pretty much tell you that this is probably a trap. It's a little too far. All right, Losa, there you go. Unleash your fire staff. Nice. Um, Losa, can you also get the f uh, cursed oil on the back here? Is that possible at all? All right, fine. I guess we're going to have to maybe get in a little closer to get that going. Well, the smoke cloud, it's blocking our vision. We can't see the other side. Yeah, you can. All right, Losa? Here, why don't you unleash your staff of Magus on this thing, too? You can do it. I believe in you. Hot damn. Got some necro fire. Does this go away? Okay, it does. Two turns. And I don't know how this oil barrel managed to survive the encounter, but we'll sh make sure that this one also goes, too. Oh, jeez. I think I just made it worse. Ah, crap. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's okay. Um, It seems like it's actually going to disappear. Here. Okay, so the necro fire goes away and then gives way to regular fire, which then I guess resets its uh, counter or its duration or whatever. Fair enough. All right, Fabrosi, lead us through the smoke cloud and towards this corpse, which I'm hoping will have some medium fire resistance potion. Well, not exactly what I was looking for. What sorcery is this? Have we destroyed the laws of physics? Have we destroyed the laws of physics? Um, anyways. <laughs> Sorry about the distraction there. Okay, so with this permanent cursed poison stuff, what happens if we set it on fire? Let's have Fane actually do it himself. Okay, so that's Cursed Fire, and that uh, applies Necrofire for two turns. Does it go away, or does it become Cursed Poison again? Or does it stay as... You know, it's on... It's just regular fire now, so I'm assuming the Cursed status went away then? Is that how it works? I guess it's a bit of a learning experience for us. Alright, well, let's wait for the smoke to clear, because they don't want to be ambushed by uh, Ass Nuggets in case they're around here. All right. Whoa! Trap. Traps! Hot damn! Okay, Fane, please take care of the uh, traps for us. Fantastic. Well, that's good to know. Sibyl, do you see any more traps? Careful. Let's have you investigate a little trap. bit. Put on your investigating shoes. And... Careful. Be good. Fane? And how much do you guys want to bet there's one, like, right over here somewhere? Uh, maybe in the middle? Let's try this without uh, looking. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. You know what? Maybe I was wrong. I'm willing to admit that maybe I was Look wrong. I oh, no. It is there. What the hell? Fane? Did you miss this thing? What the hell, man? What the hell? All right, Fane, no, no. You should be leading the troops. It should be Fabrosi in case there are more traps. And if he, if he steps on them, then it's just Fabrosi, right? Who cares? Okay, what's... Over here, nothing. Got some uh, vines that we could probably go up. Barrel, three gold. Good start, bad start. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Really, Sibyl? Did you notice a trap for Brosi? Hey, did you notice a trap for Brosi? I don't know if you noticed uh, noticed a trap, man. And can we glow a uh, glow? Can we go up that one? Maybe we should have Losa teleport us there instead. Or, maybe we can have Sabeel spread her wings and fly on up there. Sabeel, would you mind? Fantastic. Guys, 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 guys. No need to go through the uh, enemy encampment to uh, get on over here. And Sabeel, if you could please investigate. I think we're good. Wow, wow, wee wah. Okay, that was a bit of a mistake. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Fane, there's still a little bit of um, poison over there that I think you should probably take care of for us if you don't mind. Yeah, that's good. Fantastic. Although that didn't really result in much of a fire. Corpse of a dwarf. Cautionary pamphlet. Oh, it's the thing about the uh, fake um, lighthouse. Can we do the uh, entire place of Driftwood a favor by turning off this... Um, Higher? 
Did that do anything? Um, I have no idea, but we're going to collect these mushrooms in honor of uh, Jahan. Because I'm sure he, wherever he is, he would probably look down, us on, look down on us with disdain if we did not um, collect those. Alright. Do you guys see any enemies from up on over here? Okay, we do. A possessed war maiden. And that's about all we see. Can we actually reach them from up here? Actually, it might be a good idea for us to maybe unchain our team and then have them go their separate ways. Of course, sneaking the process. Sabil, you're also gonna have to do a sneak and get in a little closer. My blood is ice. The void is here. For, whoa, whoa, whoa! Venom void woken. Or Venom Wing Void Woken. Go worm. I require more. Um Require more what? Pop tarts? More sausages? More cheese? What do you need? What do you need more of? Tell me what you need! Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, Fane, can you actually be effective from up here? Excuse me, I need to sneeze. Good grief. Oh, that was painful as all hell. Okay, so I think we can actually be effective from up here, although... Might be a little limited in our... No, 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 not Sabiel. Losa, can you get in over this side and be effective from up here as well? It seems like we may be able to. So this spot might not be a bad idea for us to uh, launch our assault from. But that being said, if we are to do that, then I think we might need to get though uh, the dwarves up to us rather than us down to them. So Ferosi, why don't you go over here, Sabil? You can hide in over on this side and come into attack once they uh, start making their way upwards, I think. Um, we have a War Maiden. I'm assuming this one is a melee attacker. We've got a Battle Mage, which is obviously maybe a melee and a, um, and a magic user. Cleric, which I'm assuming will do some healing. An Arbalist and an Arbalist. So a couple of dudes who can uh, do some range damage to us. All right, Fane, you're gonna have to start things off for us here. With a nice little... Can you actually maybe finagle this just slightly so that you can catch them unawares? Or no, it might have to be Losa. Losa, do you mind? She can't. Well, what about down like this? Okay, we might be able to finagle it this way. All right, Losa? Start things off for us. Boom! Eat shit, War Maiden. Wait, so are we actually not in combat? I don't think we're actually in combat right now. This is hilarious. <laughs> um, okay, what can we do to take advantage of this situation? I don't think we can actually do much, considering that their armor keeps um, getting back up. Fane, can you do anything to maybe make this a little easier for us at all? I think we're a little too far away from them. Which I didn't think was honestly possible. Okay, maybe we should actually have Sabil. Hmm. I'm sure this will probably get their attention, right? It must. There we go. Hey, okay, Sabil. Whoa! What the shit, man? Ah, crap. Now Sibyl is atrophied. What does that mean exactly? Maybe we need to get Sibyl out of here. Um, Does this get rid of atrophy? I have no idea. Maybe instead we should... You know what? Let's use Heart of Steel. Get you all jacked up and shit. There you go. Now you got some armor back. And bullhorns... What does Atrophy do again? Cannot use weapons for attacks or skills. Okay. Um, maybe if we use Bullhorns though. Okay, so we can actually do this without... It's good to know. There you go. Ah, shit. Alright, where's Fabrosi? Fabrosi? He's still hidden. Holy crap. Can't believe it. He's still hidden. Ha 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 ha. Um, although, 
kind of wondering if maybe we should get Fabrosi to attack the uh, War Maiden. There you go. Fabrosi, get to it, buddy. You got a free shot off. Uh oh. The, the cleric. The void. Wait. Excuse me? We have to fight the Umbral Totem as well? You have to fight the fucking statue? Are you kidding me? Please tell me you're joking. No? Alright, fine. The War Maiden um, doesn't have a lot of uh, magical armor. So I think it might be a good idea for us to have um, uh, Fane and Losa target her instead. Yeah, because she's got a lot of uh, physical armor, but not a lot of uh, magical armor. Fane, please do us the honors. Fantastic. And I don't want you to do spontaneous combustion because that's going to make, um, that's going to affect Sabila as well. Which doesn't really sit that well with me. However, you can do this. Do a little bit more damage to her. <laughs> it's funny how she just kind of reacted like out of nothing. Alright, um, maybe contamination? No, that's not really going to help. Fortify? I think Sabil's okay for now, so we don't need to worry too much. For Bosi, if you don't mind uh, getting in here to stomp her ass, let's have you char uh, um, wait with your battering ram. Fantastic. Almost out of uh, physical armor. Nice dodge! Holy crap. Hey, Sabil, get in behind her, and you might as well finish her off. Doesn't have a lot of... um. Armor left. That's one dead. Fantastic. We might need to get Fabrosi and Sabil a little back though, because I think the Arbalist and whatnot can still attack them with range. Oh, laser ray! What the shit was that? Oh my god, that thing's a small little Death Star. I mean, not really, but close enough. Fane, uh, the Battle Mage has a lot of magical armor, so I think instead let's go after the Possessed Arbalest. Um, can you maybe use a fireball? Okay, this might... This will catch both of them. Which is great. No! No, you son of a bitch! It was right there! What the hell? There you go. Much better. Peace of mind. Increases strength, finesse, and intelligence. Really? I'm starting to think that maybe we should try to get peace of mind as a uh, skill of ours. And... What else can we do? Flaming tongues. No, let's give... Sabil some haste. Not my turn. Fane? Give Sabil some haste, if you don't mind. boy. Okay, so the Arbalists... Don't have enough range to reach Fabrosi and Sibyl from uh, wherever they were before, which is great. And now Fabrosi, let's have you go after her. Target is blocked by what? Hmm. Actually, can you do this? That completely removes her armor. Fantastic. And now let's go after like this. And that'll blow that up and blow her up. Ah, <laughs> nice. Although she's not dead, is she? She's not dead. No, no. She still have a little, has a lot of uh, physical armor, too. Or no, magical armor, rather. All right, so far, going decently. Um, though, as they say, it's not over until the fat lady sings. Fat lady is indeed fat. Not to a fat shame or anything. Because I know I have a few pounds to lose myself. Um... Let's also get an Incarnate up in this biznatch. a boy. Although, why are you starting with less armor? I don't understand. What's happening? A lot of rejigging, apparently. Let's have you... Where are the other guys? The Arbalists? They're down there. Possessed Cleric. Oh, they're over there. Okay, I see. Fine. Uh, incarnate? I think these guys don't have a lot of physical armor, so maybe it might be a good idea for you to go after them instead. Fantastic. That was a lot of damage. Hot diggity damn. Fire totem. Lay it on him. And incarnate. I'm actually going to have you delay your turn because I want Losa to um, put on her, her incarnate um, infusement thing on you. 
Sabeel is unfortunately on fire, but that's fine. She's gonna just she's just gonna stay on fire, which is great. Let's rupture her tendon and also make her bleed. Fantastic. Uh oh. What's the Arbalist doing? Reactive shot. What is reactive shot? I think I've seen that a couple times now, but I have no idea what the hell that is. Uh, Losa, I think we lost our totem. If you don't mind uh, bringing one back. And uh, also, Incarnate, Merry Christmas, buddy. There you go. Got a little bit of a Farsight infusion, and I'm also going to give you a Power infusion, too. Hot damn, man. It's like Christmas for a little guy. Fire totem, are you serious? You missed? Oh, where are you flying to now, bitch? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What? Did you just attack a corpse? What a fucking degenerate. Who the hell goes around attacking a corpse like that? Unbelievable. Fane, can you actually make this guy explode? You can. Although it's not going to do as much damage as I would like. Where's the cleric, by the way? Cleric's over there and currently not on fire. Fine, Arbalist. Merry Christmas, Ass Nugget. And now you die. <laughs> but Fane basically spat on him to death. Alright, so the Cleric is on fire now. And would have been nice to have that uh, available to us before, but... So be it. Barbosi, um... Let's have you... Create a bloated corpse out of that thing. And then, um, that is resisted by physical armor. This is also resisted by physical armor. Okay, so everything in necromancy is basically resisted by physical armor, which doesn't sit that well with me. But, fair enough. I guess we might as well just try to, uh, waste your ass then, right? Or no, let's get Fabrosi enraged. And I just realized that we don't have Bless with us. Dang, nabbit. I guess I need to... I, I did some rejigging of um, of skills and whatnot in between episodes. And I guess I didn't realize that I actually need to memorize Bless. Um, battering Ram, Fire Damage, Fire Damage, Fire Damage. Ah, damn. I'm hoping we can take care of the Battle Mage first. Mm. Resist by Physical Armor. We might actually knock her down, even though it is fire damage. Good. Good. So then she'll miss her, miss her turn. And then... Little guy, I'm gonna have you get in a little closer here and try to attack that lady instead. Can you? Out of sight. Come on, really? Out of sight, my dick, little guy. You can do it. I believe in you. You can't do it. You're an ass nugget. Fine. Get in as close as you can here. You might as well, I guess, get in over this side then. Since the bloated corpse is kind of in your way. And let's have you go after her. Um, whirlwind? Sure. Fantastic. And then let's have you blast her in the ass too. Nice. Critical damage. Sibyl? Good job. Hot damn. And I think it might be a good idea for us to have you retreat a little bit. And then uh, come back once you're feeling a little better? I guess this is... You know what? That's fine. It's not that far from where you were before, but it's okay. And can you, in fact... No. Physical armor. Basically, everything's resisted by physical armor. Right, fine. I guess you... Out of sight? Is it because of the black smoke? Come on, man. Really? Oy, oy, oy. Good gravy. Okay, fine. Get in over here then. And now you should be able to... There you go. Put her to sleep. And they're immune to sleeping. Isn't that just lovely? I should have probably figured out what the whole possess thing uh, does. Um, What kind of like... Invulnerabilities or uh, defenses it grants before I... Uh, you know, tried to have my way with it. In a non-sexual way. That came out wrong. I told him. Welcome to the team. And, uh, Possessed Cleric? We can't blast you in the S because we can't see you. Of course. Why not? 
Sabil, I guess we might as well try to heal you up a little bit. We can't. We can't because she's also been obfuscated by the fucking black flag. No, the black smoke crap. Unbelievable. Soothing cold, that's not going to help anyone. Come on. We just need to... Fine. Just wait then. Um, sure. Go after the uh, little guy, why don't you? Are you attacking the bloated corpse? Good for you, I guess. Ooh, that grinds my goat so bad. That grinds it. Ah. Fine, I guess just delay your turn. Let's wait until the smoke clears. Which it's not going to. Fair enough. Rosie, I guess you might as well just gank her ass then. Whoa. Nice crit, man. Ah, oh, damn. Good job, buddy. Oh, right. It's because he's got um, Enrage on. Right, right, right. We might be able to finagle a little something, something if we go this way. Eat shit, Cleric. Eat shit. Um, can we... Maybe we can finagle something this way, too. We can just get the angle right. Which I don't think we can. No, I don't think it's going to hit her at all. Oh, no. Nope, there we go. We got it. Bam! <laughs> nice. I'm such a genius. Sometimes. It's rare, but it happens. Incarnate, can you maybe attack one of these assholes from up there? Is the Arbalest the only one around now? Yeah, I guess we might as well target it from up, from up here. <laughs> can he... Whoa. Um, did you just attack the corpse again? What is with you guys in attacking corpses? What is with these degenerates? Okay, uh, let's have you get in over here, Sabil. And then let's have you attack this guy with your throwing knives. Fantastic. And actually, we might be able to get you wings and then get in behind him. Well, let's not do that right now. I'm actually going to get you back a little bit. Because the Arbalist is actually in range to attack us all now. I think. And let's go ahead and start healing up Sabil, if you don't mind. Fantastic. Sibyl, I'm also going to restore your magical armor. So congratulations. And can we, in fact... Hmm, not quite. Maybe over there? Why can't we reach that? Maybe from over here? Is that possible? Might be a worse position. Nope, it's a better position. Nice. I'll freeze your ass. And that's about all we can do right now. Why does it have a male voice? Uh, it has the distinctive look of an obese lady. Yet it seems to have a male voice. Which is a little disconcerting. I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying it's not what I expected. Right, possessed arbalist. Okay, uh, corpse guy? I guess you might as well just bugger off out of here. And just, you know, fulfill your, fulfill your purpose over here. a boy. That's a lot of blood. Nice. Rosie, is there anything that you can do, maybe? You can. Except you can't. Because it's physical armor. Maybe a little bit of a Captain America shield then? Whoa! Completely stripped him of armor. And now, we'll suck him dry. You're dead, bitch. Fantastic. Hot damn. It's quite the epic fight, guys. But we did amazingly. Or at least I think we did amazingly. Maybe just the, uh, the, you know, hide advantage that basically just carried us through the entire fight. But hey, I'm chalking this up, this up to a, uh, victory because, well, I mean, we won. But also because we, um... We use the environment to our advantage here. And gloves of the black arts requires intelligence. Wow, wow, wee wah. 
Losa, I think it might be a good idea for us to replace your stupid-ass gloves of teleportation with this stuff. Losa? There you go. Hey, do you have teleportation as a skill? You do. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking we should actually get rid of closed circuit and uh, put in... Blessed. And also put in teleportation as an actual skill. There you go. Now, uh, now we're not uh, restricted to carrying or wearing the stupid ass uh, gloves of teleportation or nothing. What about the possessed cleric? Got nothing. That is so much blood. I love it. What about the battle mage? Battle mage, you got anything for us? A feather. I don't. What the fuck? That's fine. I thought there were a lot more corpses up here. We looted that thing. We looted the war maiden. The cleric. Spread your wings. Well, I mean, I guess Los can just sell it. Ruby, feathers, and more arrows. More arrows. More fancy feathers. What the hell's with these feathers? The hell? Were these guys really just into, like, riding on parchment or something? What's with this totem, by the way? Maybe we should destroy it. Or I don't know, um, maybe we need to do something with it later that involves a quest of some kind. Who knows? Alright, well, let's take a break here, and let's come back tomorrow. We'll explore the rest of this, um, explore these uh, dead bodies, and then probably go into the Wrecker's Cave, which is uh, very ominous looking. Did someone carve these out, or did, is this like a naturally occurring thing in Rivalon? Because I've seen a dozen of these by now, like, holy crap. Every other cave is like a fucking uh, skull cave. Guys, get original here. Come on. Come on, Rivalon. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's leave it off here and see you guys tomorrow. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.